Joe. 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 We gotta go. This is it. What's the other one? One, nine, three, two, spin clockwise, set to noon, then run off. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Hey, Hi there, George. how are you doing? Good, man, how are you doing? Good, good. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for reaching out. I really am excited to talk to you more, man. Yeah, no, I um, I, I had an opportunity to watch your film this week and fell in love with it. Um, had such a great time with it. My my first impression right after watching it is I need to rewatch it. I want to rewatch it again. I want to like point out all these little things. And I love movies like that. So thank you. I, I mean that genuinely. Thank you for making a movie like that. I, I really I really resonated with it. Oh, George, that means the world to me. Thank you so much. I'm glad you dug it in all those weird ways. <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely dug it in all those weird ways. And um, yeah, I had a number of questions. I I guess we, I had a chance to read um, something that you had written about the film and about how your time with your, your dad loving and watching sci-fi movies had really um, inspired you to get to this point and, um, and, and to make this film. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about family like the threat of of family both as an inspiration for this film but then also as it unfolds focusing so heavily on a brother and sister obviously you're dealing with a lot of complicated constructs like time travel and things like that but at, at the heart of it, it it feels like a family movie how did you manage to balance the kind of sci-fi of your story with the the heart with the family element I mean I guess I learned a lot from my time working with Benson and Moorhead I mean they're kind of everything I learned about balancing like high concept premises and um, character rooted like dramas and stories come from watching them and learning from them and uh, making stories with them because, you know, you always want to make something that you've never seen before, which is the beauty of like sci-fi and finding like unique ways to explore the unknown. But mm -hmm. then it's still rooted in people who deal with things in everyday life. And for me, you know, I, I have an older sister and she lives in another part of the country with another job and I don't see her often enough. So this movie was a little bit about like exploring that anxiety of like what it means to not be with them in their life and seeing them and kind of letting them down and hoping things, things could get better. Um, but uh, feeling that there's, you know, cycles of false promises and hopes and getting there. And that's all rooted within this high concept that explores these, that, that relationship and, way yeah no i i i really like that element of the film that and i thought you you delicately balanced that that high concept you're talking about with that with that heart um i wanted to talk a little bit about the inspiration behind this film so um obviously there's been a million and one films about time travel and so it, it almost tackling this puts a a difficult task on, on your shoulders to, to craft something original and it really genuinely feels original while also tapping into some you know sci-fi films of 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 great um what films did you particularly lean into um as you were crafting this film both from the script and and in the directing and how did you manage to pay homage to those films while also managing to make such an original film yeah it's a good question i i would say there were three films that kind of came up during my time with this movie um two of them were from basically the ground up on it um i'm a huge fan of ryan johnson's looper it basically is dealing with high concept sci-fi themes, but dealing with them in such like, you know, tangible, like rustic ways. Like basically mm -hmm. the fact that you can, you know, have a, such a cool concept, but it's just basically people with guns and hiding out in farmhouses. Like that's mm -hmm. such a cool way yeah. to get these ideas across without, you know, having to spend all this much money. Um, the second film that I really got into was Blood Simple from the Coen Brothers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Francis uh, Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool in that it's uh basically like I love that Blood Simple is just like, you know, characters making impassioned choices, whether they're the right decision or the wrong decision. And the mm -hmm. story unfolds in such a unique and weird way 
where you actually don't know what's happening next. And, you know, that was a huge inspiration for me when writing this script was just like, you're going to have characters who are going to make decisions that they feel is the best, even though it's not the right one. And it's going to all unfold in such weird ways. Um, and then the third movie actually came from me talking with, um, you know, my lead actor, Adam, about it. And he was, you know, reading the script and coming up with ideas. And I can't believe I didn't think about it because I love this movie. But it's uh, the 2007 film Time Crimes. Um, oh, I'm not familiar with that. Oh, it's a it's a wonderful, wonderful film uh, that is also a very low budget time travel movie about a, you know, a man who sees like on his property and he tries to investigate what's going on and he stumbles across like a hidden time machine on his property they didn't know about. And he starts to get looped in over and over and over again in this crazy, like unravel story that he can't even get out of. And he, every time he tries to fix things, it gets even worse. And it's a wonderful movie. It's, you should definitely check it out if you like this movie at yeah. all. Um, and it also helps balance the, the the characters and the high concept as well, which all three of those movies do really well in that, you know, they always inform all the character stuff in the first place. And then that informs and makes the world shape in unique mm -hmm. ways to reflect back. It's like a good ping pong match between character and high concept uh, in all of those movies as well.